It is incumbent upon us to be conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at all times. For indeed, he who is conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shall be saved. Those who are oblivious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those who forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even for a single moment, have lost and perhaps they will have much to lose not only in this world, but even in the life after death. يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا اتَّقُوا اللَّهِ وَالْتَنْظُرْ نَفْسٌ مَّا قَدَّمَتْ لِغَدٍ وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ خَبِيرٌ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ O oh, you who believe, be conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Each one of you, look into what you have prepared for tomorrow. What have you prepared for presentation tomorrow? What are your deeds that are going to be sealed for you and handed over as your own deeds tomorrow? And fear Allah, He knows what you do. This is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. So don't lose focus upon that. No matter how enticing the world is around you, never lose focus upon the fact that Allah can take you at any moment, at any time. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all. There will come a day when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, that every single one of you shall be speaking to Allah without an intermediary in between. No need for translations, no need for explanations. Allah will speak to you and I, and we will be answering Him directly for our deeds. We need to prepare for that day. We do not want to be embarrassed on that day. How to prepare? There are several ways. We speak about them regularly. It is important for us not to be lazy when it comes to increasing the knowledge we have of Allah and His Rasul, of the deen of this particular religion, and the same time of what is it that will benefit us when we leave this beautiful world for something even more beautiful, and that is the life after death.